We're going to go ahead and do another lesson here on, uh, on angles. This one's going to be specifically some rules that deal with angles in triangles. Uh, we're going to wait and do this activity together in class. So we're going to write the result of what we find in the activity and then kind of go back and prove it in class. But the first thing we're going to talk about today is what's called the triangle sum theorem. And it states that all the angles, all the interior angles of a triangle always add up to be 180 degrees. So this says for angle, uh, triangle, excuse me, ABC, the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C equals 180 degrees. For every triangle, you can add up the interior angles and always add it to be 180 degrees. So let's see what they do in this example here to, to use that to help us find a missing angle measurement. This first says write the triangle sum theorem for this triangle. And, and we have angles D, E, and F. So the measure of angle D plus the measure of angle E plus the measure of angle F equals 180 degrees. We have a couple of angles that they already give to us. We substitute those in and all we're left with is the missing angle, which is angle E. So they're going to solve this equation now. They're going to add 55 and 100 to give us the total amount of angles we know plus the measure of angle E equals 180. Subtract that 155 from both sides and we'll be left with the amount that the measure of angle E has to be. It's got to be 25 degrees. So the measure of angle E is 25 degrees. And you can kind of check that by making sure that all these angles add up together equal 180. So 100 plus 55 is 155. 155 plus 25 is 180. So we, we know that that has to be that because we know that all the angles add up together in triangle always equal 180. Let's do a little bit of practice with this. It says find the missing angle measurement or finding the missing angle measure. So we're looking for the measure of angle K because that's the only one that's not given to us here. So let's go ahead and write the two that we do know. We know 71, I want you to write this down, 71 plus 56 plus the measure of angle K, the unknown, all that equals 180 degrees altogether. So then we're going to go ahead and add together the 71 plus the 56, the two ones we do know. So we, we know a total of 127 degrees plus the measure of angle K equals 180. And now we just need to isolate the measure of angle K. We need to subtract 127 from both sides. So the measure of angle K equals 180 minus 127, which is 53, equals 53. So 53 degrees for that missing angle measurement. Number five, the one we're missing here this time is R. So let's go ahead and write the one, two that we do know. We know 29 plus 61 plus the measure of angle R equals 180 degrees altogether. So we're going to add 29 and 61 to give us 90. 90 plus the measure of angle R equals 180. And then we just need to isolate the measure of angle R. So we subtract 90 on both sides. And the measure of angle R equals 180 minus 90 is 90. So I guess this is actually a right angle here. 90 degrees. So that's um, the triangle sum theorem. We can find the missing length or missing uh, measurement of a, an angle as long as we know the two other measurements. Just subtract them from 180, right? Okay, there's another one. This one's a little more complicated. It's uh, about exterior angles and what are called remote interior angles. So let's read through here. It says, an interior angle of a triangle is formed by two sides of the triangle. So right here it says angles 1, 2, and 3 are interior angles, right there. An exterior angle is formed by one side of the triangle and the extension of an adjacent side. So if we extend one of the sides of a triangle, we can make a, an angle here from one of the sides of the triangle and the extension of this side here. So when you extend one side, it gives us that exterior angle. So angle 4 is an exterior angle. Each exterior angle has two remote interior angles. A remote interior angle is an interior angle that is not adjacent to or not next to the exterior angle. So here's our exterior angle. The one next to it is angle 3. The two remote interior angles for angle 4 are 1 and 2, the ones not next to it or not adjacent to it. So angle 1 and angle 2 are remote interior angles to angle 4. Now there's a special relationship between the measure of an exterior angle 
and the measure of its remote interior angles. And so we're going we're gonna to kind of go through here and do a little proof to show what this special relationship is. So let's follow through here and see what this, this gives us. A says extend the base of the triangle and label the exterior, exterior angle as angle 4. So let's go ahead and extend this. And we're going to call this exterior angle angle 4, just like we had up there. Part B says the triangle sum theorem, the one we just worked on on the other side, says that the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 is 180 degrees. We also know here that, the, that angle 3 and angle 4 here form a straight line between those two. So write that in. They form a straight line. Well, what do we know about the measurement of a straight line? We know that a straight line is also 180 degrees. So the measure of angle 3 and the measure of angle 4 is 180 degrees as well. So we're going to use these two equations that we made. Um, in the previous parts B and C to complete the following equation. The measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3, which is 180 degrees, is equal to the measure of angle 3 and the measure of angle 4. We know that all these added up are 180, but we also know that angle 3 and angle 4 are 180 degrees. And now we're going to use the properties of equality to simplify the equation in part D. In other words, we can go ahead and subtract the measure of angle 3 on both sides because there's two, there's one on each side, there's one on each side to subtract, so those will cancel out. And we're going to be left with this equation here that's going to help us understand this relationship between an exterior angle and its two remote interior angles. So it says use the properties of equality to simplify this. It's the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 equal, we cancel that out, the measure of angle 4. In other words, the exterior angle theorem states that the measure of an exterior angle is equal to the sum of its remote interior angles. So in other words, angle 4 has the same measurement as angles 1 and 2 combined. We know that because these add up to 180 altogether and these add up to 180 altogether. So if you just take away angle 3, what's left over for angle 4 and the combination of 1 and 2 are the same measurement. So let's do, uh, let's look at this example that they do and then we'll do a, a practice problem with this. So the example they show for this says find the measure of angle A and the measure of angle B. They want us to find a right here and B right here. Now they give us an expression for those, but they don't give us the exact measurement. So they say that A is 4y minus 4 and B is 3y. So here they set this up. We know that the measure of angle A and the measure of angle B, these two remote interior angles, is the same as this exterior angle, which they've labeled ACD, ACD right here, which is 52 degrees. So then they just substitute those values into the given angle measurement, or into this equation here. So 4y minus 4 plus 3y equals 52. And then they solve that equation. So let's go ahead and solve that equation here, because that's not solved for us here. So we don't really need the parentheses anymore at this point, because there's nothing outside the parentheses to distribute. So just write 4y minus 4 plus 3y equals 52. So we're going to find the, we're going to go ahead and solve this equation and find those angle measurements. So the first thing that I notice is that we have some like terms to combine. 4y and 3y gives us 7y minus 4 equals 52. And we continue to solve that. Subtract 4 on each side. Solve for y here. 7y. 52 minus 4. Um, excuse me. Plus 4. We need to add 4 to each side. 52 plus 4 is 56. And we divide by 7 and y equals 56 divided by 7 is 8. So we now know that y equals 8, so we can plug that in now into these two different spots and see what we get. So for angle B, let's say the measure of angle B is equal to, we plug in 8 right there, 3 times 8 is 24. The measure of angle A, we plug in 8 right there, 4 times 8 is 32, 32 minus 4 is 28. 
And then remember, these are supposed to equal this exterior angle altogether as well. So does 24 plus 28 equal 52? I think it does. So it looks like we're on the right track there. This is a little complicated because they're giving us expressions here instead of ex ex um, exact measurements. So this can be a little tricky. But let's go ahead and do number eight here. It says find the measure of angle M, this angle right here, and the measure of angle N. And again, we're given some algebraic expressions for these. But we know that these two um, remote interior angles will equal this exterior angle, which they give us as 146. So let's set up an equation here. We have 5y plus 3. And then if we add in 4y plus 8, we know that that's going to equal 146 altogether. So there are no parentheses here anymore once we've rewritten this. So let's go ahead and combine like terms. 5y and 4y is 9y. And so i box those in here. And then 3 and 8 equals 11. And that equals 146. So if we combine our like terms, now we just have a two-step equation here. So we're going to subtract 11 on each side as we try to isolate y. 9y equals 135. Then we divide by 9. See if we can figure out what 135 divided by 9 will be. It's going to be 15. So now we have a real value for y that we can go back and plug into these expressions to figure out what these measurements are. So let's go in for m right here, and let's plug in 15 right there. So I believe 5 times 15 is 75, and 75 plus 3 should be 78. So the measure of angle m should be 78 degrees. And then the measure of angle n, if we plug in 15 here, 15 times 4 is 60. 60 plus 8 is 68. Remember, they're supposed to equal 146 altogether. So does 78 plus 68 equal 146? It does. So we know that we're good to go. All right, we'll do a little more practice with this in class, even though we don't all practice here. Well, I'll find some more practice for us to do with this because this can be a little tricky, but it uh, gives you uh, an introduction to the triangle sum theorem and also this relationship between exterior angles and their two remote interior angles. We'll see you guys in class.